Max and welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you a video um, in the wardrobe building series all about my picks for the fall trend statement jackets. So if you're interested in what my picks are, just keep watching. Okay guys, I am quickly gonna do um, what is on my lips because I think I'm probably gonna get ass. And for um, eye makeup, I'm still doing the same eye makeup I've been doing. I just added a little dark green in there to smoke it out with. But what is on my lips is actually this Smashbox um, Always Liquid Lipstick. And it comes in a box like this. And this one is called Dream Huge. And this is the color that is on my lips. It is a true matte. Um, it is a true matte in the liquid lipstick form. It does come off a little bit, but not as bad as some of the other ones. So this is actually going to be featured um, in one of my videos um, of celebrating the things that I like that are pink in honor of breast cancer awareness. So we're gonna go more in depth on it then because um, I've bought like a bunch of new pink lipsticks that I'm gonna share with you guys that I think are really hot. And so right now I'm doing like, um, I'm testing them every day to see which ones, you know, I like the best. Um, so this is what is on my lips and I do like it. I like it, but today is my first day wearing it and I've had it on probably since this morning, um, since early this morning. So, you know, I'll let you guys know next week when we do the next installment, okay? So that is what is on my lips. And I will be doing an outfit of the day because this is the one jacket, a uh, statement jacket that I did style out for you guys. So we'll go over everything else that I'm wearing at the end of the video, okay? So let's jump in, all right? So those of you who have been with me for a while know the importance of the statement jacket to me. It is really um, a big part of my wardrobe, especially in the fall and winter months. It is what really gives my um, outfit identity. And it's, it's as important as handbags and accessories and shoes and all those things are, the statement jacket is just as important to me as those items are. Um, it really takes my outfit up a notch. It keeps it from looking boring and the same all the time um, because everyone knows that I dress in a lot of neutrals and basics um, pretty much all the time, okay? So these are like some of the picks that I'm gonna use this fall and winter that you guys will see in outfits of the days on heavy rotation. Um, I guess we can start with the one that I'm wearing. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you've seen this before. You've also seen it in a haul. This one is actually from ASOS. And I will link as many things as I can find or something similar if it's sold out below. This is the camouflage, um, kind of utilitarian jacket. Anything that is really military inspired, I think is a really hot trend this year. And I think if you get them slightly oversized um, and you put them with more fitted pieces, it gives a really nice silhouette. It makes it young and edgy. It's a really fun piece. And it'll, like I said, it'll spice up you know, your outfits to give it a different look. And so this is kind of my pick as far as how I'm participating in it with the camouflage, okay? So the next one is this cognac colored suede moto jacket. Now you guys would have saw this one too styled out. This is actually one that um, I posted a couple times on Instagram. So please follow me at Bipolar Max because a lot of this stuff you guys have already seen but I kind of wanted to group it all together for you. This is actually from White House Black Market and the zippers on it are a very pale, pale, pale gold where it almost looks gold, but it almost looks silver. And so that way you're able to wear it with both pieces of, um, or both sets of jewelry. So if you're a person who likes silver or if you're a person like who likes gold, this will kind of go with both if you care about matching. I don't care about matching, I mix metals all the time. But this is a really nice suede jacket and this is genuine suede. It kind of has like the little, um, Ruffles here in the back, the little like three pleats that are going the opposite way, I should say, um, that are in the back of the detailing. It is really nice and fitted. Um, this is a well-made jacket. Now I am a plus size lady. I wear a size 14, 16, sometimes an 18, 20, but in White House Black Market, I was able to fit this jacket in an extra large, okay? This jacket, um, this style of jacket, I should say, is duplicated in a ton of retailers right now because suede modal jackets is like all the rage. And I've worn them, I've worn this with like a bodycon dress, 
I board with um, jeans and or jean shorts and a t-shirt. So I, I can mix this a lot. I can do it with dress pants if I need to and, and leave it open as if it's a blazer. So this is a piece that's gonna get used quite a bit. You guys are probably gonna get tired of seeing it because I will be wearing this a lot. Um, I know that if you are larger than the size that I named, um, Tord has a version of this. I think Gap has a version of it that goes up to 2X. So everybody kind of has something similar to this. I love how this was kind of thin, um, but heavy enough that I wasn't like weighted over. Cause I know some of the ones from ASOS that I bought um, were kind of too heavy. Cause I bought quite a few jackets and I sent back like four of them. And this was the one that I decided to, to keep, okay? So that is my first pick. All right, the next one is something that I've had in my wardrobe for a very long time and there are some times when I can fit it, some times when I can't and when I can't fit it I just leave it open and that's one of these times right now. But I feel like when I'm really going to need to reach for it, which is probably in November, I plan on being down by then where I'm back to being able to button it. But if you scroll down on my Instagram, I wore it a few years ago with um, denim shorts. So this is a velvet blazer and this is a tuxedo blazer. And this is actually from Ralph Lauren. So I will try to link something similar to it since this is an older piece in my wardrobe. But like I tell you guys, if you go shopping in your own wardrobe, you may be surprised what you can find that is now currently in fashion because things rotate all the time. So things like my statement jackets, unless I replace it with something that is similar, I very seldom get rid of it. Um, and even some of the ones that like I'm not quite fitting in, I'm, I'm real selective if I'm gonna get rid of it, especially if I plan on getting back in it. Because for some reason, every year I can get back in it, I just don't stay in it. Like I can get in it for a month or two and then after that I'm back out of it. But this is an awesome one. So velvet is what you really wanna look for. So there are tons of choices for velvet blazers. I saw them at Ann Taylor. I saw them, um, I saw them a lot of places, J. Crew, uh, Madewell, a lot of different stores had velvet blazers. Um, there are some beautiful colors out there in velvet blazers. I saw burgundy, I saw olive green, and some of them have gorgeous detailing with like gold buttons and things like that. For me, this is just basic enough. Um, I like to kind of subdued like this. Again, it looks great. Like um, the way I want to wear it is around holiday time and I want to wear it with gauchos. So I have like flare gauchos out and I want to wear um, a velvet riding boot with it. So that is how I'm gonna wear the velvet trend. Be careful with the velvet trend though. Try not to do head to toe velvet because you will kind of look like a teddy bear. So just a couple pieces at a time I think is not bad or even just one if it's a standout piece, okay? So this is one of my other picks that for statement jackets. Here's the next pick. Now you guys would have seen this in a haul with me when I did my fall haul. I haven't worn this one yet and even though it's not a jacket, it is a vest, and so I'm gonna put it in statement jackets because it's anything that is faux fur. It's extremely sexy and hot this year. This one again is from Chico's in a size three. Um, they have other colors. I think they have the lighter colors like with the tans and the creams and the browns. Um, of course, I chose black, but this looks great layered over your pieces. So when you wanna do um, some of your sexier fitted pieces, you've got a nice oversized piece. And then when I showed it to you guys before, I said that it didn't have pockets, but as I further inspect it, it does have pockets. So that made me love it even more. This is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And this is a nice faux fur. It doesn't look cheapy, you know what I mean? Um, if you choose to do a jacket, just be careful with the dimensions of it, that it's not adding bulk and weight to our backs, you know? Um, for us plus size ladies and for ladies for the straight, you know, shopping from the straight size, you know, whichever one you choose, just choose a silhouette that, that you think works best on you. For me, I chose a vest. So anything faux fur, I think is super hot as far as a jacket or a vest for my fall pick, okay? This knit jacket. So it isn't so much the fact of the material of it being knit. It is the fact of these buttons. The double breast look is super, super hot. We all know that um, Balmain with the military inspired blazer is just raging hot. And unfortunately, Balmain don't go up into my size. So I had to kind of look around to get the look um, from other retailers that did offer my size. So I found this knit one from Lane Bryant and you guys have seen this before, again, because it was in a haul and I've wore this a couple times already. Um, and I like it, I like the knit, I like the buttons, I like how long it is. Um, the, the trend itself is those big buttons um, and then big gold buttons 
and double breasted. So as long as you have those two elements in it, you can choose yours to be cropped, you can choose yours to be long, whatever silhouette you think fits best for you, but participating in the trend, you're just looking for double breasted with the big button. So I love this knit one because it's stretchy, it's comfortable. I can actually put it over just leggings with a pair of riding boots and a tank top and it looks really chic. The gold buttons is pretty much as much detail as I need on it. Um, and a lot of times, you guys, I wanna caution you when you're buying things with tons of embellishments on it, don't over-accessorize yourself. So when you're having pieces like this, you don't need a big old chunky necklace and a bunch of bracelets and big old chunky earrings. You don't need all that. You could probably just do some fun lipstick, a nice handbag, and maybe a bracelet. You know, like tone it down a little bit, you know, simple earrings, and let the jacket be the standout. Whatever standout piece, that you're wearing that is trying to elevate your look. You don't want it to compete with anything else that you have on. So you don't need anything else up here competing with what this jacket is doing because then a person who's looking at you, their eye is kind of all over the place and it doesn't allow them to appreciate you know, the image that you're really trying to put forward, okay? So I hope that makes sense to you. All right, so the next piece is, this is actually a dress, you guys, okay? And I am so crazy about this, but I plan on wearing it as a jacket, all right? It is very heavy twill, like super heavy, and so that's why I haven't wore it yet. I actually picked this up from Gap, and this is in the 2X. Um, last year, I wore a long denim trench, and I still love it. It's still a part of my wardrobe. I haven't gotten rid of it or anything, but I wanted to do something a little bit different than besides the denim. So I picked up this khaki twill like shirt dress, but I'm totally going to layer it and wear it as if it's a jacket. So I think heavy, long twill pieces, whether you choose to do denim or if you find, I think a corduroy would be awesome in a long um, shirt dress or even just like this twill, I think this looks great layered under simple with layered on top of simple basic pieces. So even if you're doing a black and white striped t-shirt and blue jeans, skinny jeans with like a little Chelsea boot, this looks awesome. Like just left open and kind of tied and pop the collar. I think it looks simple and chic and just, you know, straight to the point, but nice and clean lines. This looks great with all white underneath too. Um, Cause you know, I, again, I don't dress for the seasons per se, I just for the weather. So I don't let colors, you know, limit me to what season I'm gonna wear them in. So white is something I wear all year round. All right, so this is one of my picks. So if you totally wanna elevate your look and try something a little bit different, I think this is an awesome thing to try. And when you're not using it as a jacket, guys, it works great as a dress, you know? And then the last piece is something I've had for years. And I'm thinking about updating it because this is another piece that um, I'm not fitting into the right way right now, but I've had it for years. And again, every year I somehow manage to squeeze into it for a short period of time and then I come right back out of it. But it is metallic. This is actually a metallic leather blazer in silver. And this is very old. <laughs> um, but I saw a metallic motorcycle jacket in the silver and Lane Bryant actually carries it. Um, who else carries one? Ralph Lauren has one. Ralph Lauren Women has one. So I was looking at those because I think I want a moto inspired one. Although I don't plan on getting rid of this one. But if I buy that one in my correct size, I can pretty much not have to wait to get into it. I can wear it now. So, I mean, I can get into it now. It just doesn't close. So it looks good again layered. But I think I want a more roomier fit one so that I'm able to put like chunkier sweaters and things like that under it. Um, I kind of have to be care careful with my layering because you know, I'm an older lady, lady and honey, we all know I have my own personal summers. <laughs> but my pick is anything metallic. So whether you choose silver or if you choose gold um, or even rose gold or pewter, I think Lane Bryant's jacket is more of a kind of a pewter kind of um, leather, but it's an awesome jacket. Um, and I actually am gonna go over this weekend and have a look at it and see if that is the one that I wanna use to replace it. I don't like to buy a lot of faux leather because um, I like the genuine leather pieces. I just think I like to invest in the, in the quality leather pieces because I have them forever. Like this jacket is about 10 years old. And again, I'm constantly in it and out of it, in it and out of it because it, it stays in fashion. And this is, again, is one of those pieces that you can replace when you're using your basic blazer. So wherever you were gonna use your basic blazer at this kind of metallic piece, whether it's the moto jacket or not, will still take the place of it. So, you know, don't worry about it being too standoffish. Just make sure that the other pieces, too, being too show-offy, 
The other pieces that you're gonna put with it as far as your accessories and handbag and all that, have those things toned down a bit so that the jacket can do what it is that it's supposed to do, which is elevate the look and make the statement that it's supposed to make, okay? So that is all of my picks that I have. I know there are a lot of other trends that people are participating in, like, um, Ton, like tons of other trends of jackets and things, but those are the picks that I'm pretty much gonna stick to. Of course, I'm always in military inspired things. I didn't show you guys any um, ones because I don't have any current ones that I picked up this year. I pretty much have everything I need in military that I'm just kind of gonna rotate from that I had last year. And that's a style that I wear all the time, um, no matter what. And that is everything I have for you guys today. So stay tuned to the outfit of the day. And okay, so here are the pieces that I'm wearing. I'm wearing the um, cameo jacket by ASOS. And I'm wearing uh, denim shorts from, I think American Eagle or maybe Torrid. Just old boyfriend ripped up denim shorts. I'm wearing thigh high boots. Actually, these ones are from Torrid. And I'm wearing gold hoops. Um, maybe these are from... Charm and Charlie or someplace like that. Um, not expensive, just basic everyday gold hoops. And then the, both of the bracelets are from Henry Bindo. The brooch is from Chanel. Um, the glasses are Celine. And the handbag is Louis Vuitton Twist. And then the lip color we already went over earlier in the video. I'm just wearing a white tank top, probably from The Gap or something, just like some of my basics. So I will step back so you guys can have a look. Okay guys, here's the full ensemble. And I really don't have a ton to do today, so it's just kind of casual. And then tonight, of course, is date night with me and my husband, so I'll probably just change out the underpinning pieces to black, like the tank to black, and you know, intensify the makeup or whatever. Maybe put on a black choker or something like that um, to kind of like sex it up a little bit. But other than that, this is just, this is it for the day. And I actually am going to do a video about the thigh high boot. Um, I've ordered a few pair and I'm trying to find the best fitting, most comfortable ones for plus size ladies. So um, I do have a few that I'm testing out to just give you guys my opinion. All right. So this is the full ensemble. So thanks so much for watching guys and I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.